one of the most mysterious objects on the Earth. A ring believed to have come from heaven. Incredible similarities with the ring in the Lord of the Rings. It's mentioned in the Old Testament and many ancient esoteric books. Whoever possesses the ring can rule the world. So who is looking for this ring with extraordinary powers today? Who will find it and rule the world? And there are so many things you need to know about this ring that disappeared thousands of years ago with the death of the prophet Solomon. According to the sources, the ring will fall into the hands of a surprising power in the future will use it on humans. Let's start if you are ready to listen to the unbelievable mysteries of the great powers of the ring and the news that it has been captured in Turkey. When Adam and Eve were sent to Earth from Paradise thousands of years ago, Adam brought a ring with him, a ring gifted to him by the Almighty God. This ring from Paradise had a special knowledge that gave extraordinary powers to the wearer who wore it on his finger under earthly conditions. When Adam left Paradise, the ring left Paradise with him. This ring with the inscription, Property Belongs to God, was to return to Paradise. After Adam, who is rumored to have lived on Earth for about a year, passed away, the ring also returned to Paradise. A very long time had passed. Mankind had multiplied on the earth and different societies had sprung up all over the planet. God gave the angel Gabriel a mission concerning the ring. It was decided that the ring should be brought and given to a person who had been on earth for some time. The person to whom the ring of power was to be given was none other than David. Gabriel, with God's permission, took the ring and landed on the earth next to Prophet David. The ring of power was leaving paradise for the second time. Who was David, and what was he doing at that time, and for what purpose was the ring brought to him? The Prophet David was a ruler who lived about a thousand years after Abraham. A shepherd who tended his family's sheep and lambs as a boy, David became an adult and took charge of the army in his country. But he had not yet become beloved by everyone. At that time, a giant warrior called Goliath was the sworn enemy of the children of Israel, and he was almost invincible. Until the day David fought on behalf of the Israelites and defeated the giant Goliath. Although Goliath is referred to as a giant in many sources, his actual height is thought to have been between two and three meters. During a battle, David challenged Goliath and used a slingshot to defeat the giant Goliath, attracting the attention of everyone. In the end, by God's permission, they defeated them and David killed Goliath and God gave him dominion and wisdom and taught him what he willed. If it were not for God's preventing one part of mankind, and another part of mankind, there would be no order in the earth, but God has great favors for the worlds. We understand that God gave David special favors and we think that there was a secret plan in giving him the ring. The one who wore this ring with God's name on it would be given the power to rule the demons, the winds, and the beasts with God's permission. When Gabriel brought the ring to David, this is what happened between them. David, I have brought you a ring from God and some questions. Gather your sons as God has commanded and ask each one of them these questions that I will tell you. Whoever answers correctly will succeed you and you will give him this ring and he will be ruler over the whole world, said Gabriel. David then called an assembly of his people together and in the presence of everyone, he asked his sons one by one the questions he had received from Gabriel. There were different questions such as, what is the most beautiful thing in the world? And what is the ugliest thing in the world? Or what is the coarsest thing in the world? 
and what is the sweetest thing in the world? And only Solomon answered all the questions correctly. Solomon was one of David's 19 sons, and in my previous video I explained in detail that he was one of the 19 sons of David, so if you haven't seen it yet, be sure to check it out after this video. Solomon answered all the questions correctly, but there was one thing that his father David was not happy about, and that was that Solomon was smiling uncomfortably as he answered each question. David said, Yes, he answered all the questions correctly, but I don't understand why in the presence of so many people he humiliated me by smiling in an unseemly way as he answered each question. Solomon replied, I did not know the right answers to these questions, but after each question, an ant standing over there tells me the right answer. I was telling you what I heard from him. It seems that Solomon had gotten all the answers from an ant, but that would not affect David's decision. After all, Solomon had got all the answers right, and he said that even if it was an ant, there must be some wisdom in it, as long as the main purpose was to reach God. And so the ring was passed from Adam to David, and finally to Solomon, with God's permission and Gabriel's fulfillment of his mission. This ring will pass into the hands of one more person, and you will be amazed when you hear who it is, because this person will use it on the people on the earth in the future. So don't go anywhere. Now let's get to know the ring a little more closely. The ring of the prophet Solomon, also known as the Seal of Solomon, is believed to have the unknown name of God hidden on it, which only very few people and angels have learned. Because of this secret knowledge, Prophet Solomon was given great power by God's permission. He became one of the greatest rulers who ever lived and ruled the jinn and the animals and the winds. Solomon used to wear the ring on his finger when he wanted to rule over these things, and he gave his orders early on the ring finger. Solomon's seal, the ring, is pronounced by Christians as the Star of David. Since Solomon was one of the sons of Israel, the Jews replaced the Star of David's symbol on the ring with the flag of Israel. Although you might think that the Star of David is a symbol of Israel or even of the Freemasons, in fact, historically Israel has been using this symbol for a very short period of time. It was used even in the Ottoman Empire and became popular in the Islamic world. The similarity of the story of this ring of power that the Prophet Solomon had with the events of the Lord of the Rings movies is quite remarkable. We have seen the story of a ring of power that gives its owner supernatural abilities. Is the news about the discovery of the ring real? Recently, an 800-year-old door with the Star of David on it was found in a village in Samsun's Ladik district. What happened in Turkey is quite interesting. There was news that one of the historical artifacts seized as a result of an operation in Amasya was estimated to be the Seal of Solomon. I will come to this issue in a moment, but first I will tell you a striking story about a well-known story about the Ring of Solomon and what some scholars say about this issue. According to a Jewish story, when Solomon used to go to the toilet, he would not put his face inside and would hand it over to his wife. It was at such a time that a genie disguised as Solomon tricked Solomon's wife and took the ring from her. The real Solomon, coming out of the toilet, realized what had happened and demanded the ring back from the genie. But the genie disguised as Solomon drove the real prophet Solomon out of the palace and began to rule himself. According to the legend, after this incident, Solomon began to live in a fishing town working for fishermen. Years later, when the genie threw the ring into the sea so that no one could get hold of it, one evening the fish that Suleiman had eaten came out of his stomach and thus came back to Suleiman himself. Putting the ring back on his finger, Suleiman went back to the palace and took over the reign. It is a story that is told and known by many people, 
So there is even a proverb that says, whoever has the ring is Solomon. If God had given demons and jinn the ability to disguise themselves as prophets and take the place of prophets as this story says, it would have undermined trust in religion and prophets. It is therefore out of the question that such a thing could have happened. Despite all this information, when the time comes, a creature will possess the ring that has been missing since the death of Prophet Solomon. You will be surprised to hear who it is. Now coming back to the development in Namasya, gendarmerie teams raided a village house and seized gold inscriptions with Hebrew inscriptions, a statue of a bull, a book of black magic, and a bronze seal. It was reported that this seal was the seal of Solomon. In response to the news that it could be the seal of Suleiman, it was stated that although it is agreed that they are historical artifacts for now, it will be revealed which period it belongs to after the experts examine it in detail. It is a fact that such a ring, which was instrumental in ruling over animals, jinns, and winds, continues to attract the attention of many people today. You will be surprised, but there is a possibility that many states may be after this ring. Although it may sound like a joke to some, it is a fact that many state leaders are in contact with jinns and are trying to use them in inter-country intelligence. It is not strange that the states that are trying to use the jinns, and perhaps using them, think that they can completely dominate the world with fourth-dimensional beings. It should not be strange that they might be after such a ring. I will tell you in another video about the subject of metaphysical intelligence in the future. In the meantime, going back to the face of the ring, some may be after this attractive power of the ring, but according to the Islamic narrative, the scepter of Moses and the seal of Solomon will come out of the underworld first in the apocalypse, and the Muslims will take over the world, and the Muslims will dominate the world, and the Jews must be thinking similarly. They are after the ring.